CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.9, Given a Scenario, Perform OS Installations and Upgrades in a Diverse OS Environment. Boot Methods. Jumping into Exam Objective 1.9, we will be covering OS installations. First up, we have Boot Methods. The installation boot method is the way in which the setup program and OS files or system image are loaded onto the target device. This is like choosing your mode of transportation for a journey. You can pick the one that best suits your scenario and needs. One of the most popular and versatile boot methods is the good old USB. This physical medium doesn't rely on network connectivity, making it a reliable choice for many. Imagine you've got a shiny new laptop, but no internet access yet. Pop in a USB drive with the OS setup files, and voila! Your device is ready to get its new OS. USBs are portable, reusable, and can be quickly updated with the latest OS version. External solid-state drives could also be used in a similar way. These drives are like the USB's faster, more durable cousins. Both USBs and external solid-state drives are physical devices, require no network connection, and boast quicker read and write speeds. Next, we've got optical media, like CDs, DVDs, or even Blu-ray discs. Although a bit old school, they're still present in some IT environments. Optical media is also a physical boot method and doesn't require network access. Think of it like a trusty backup, maybe you have a legacy system that still reads CDs. Slide in the disc, and the OS installation kicks into gear. It's less common these days, but still a valid option. Now, let's get a bit techy with network-based installations. This method requires a network connection and often utilizes a NIC, or Network Interface Card and Pixie Boot, or pre-boot execution environment. It's ideal for large-scale installations. With a network connection and Pixie Boot in place, the device connects to a server over the network, grabs the OS image, and starts the installation. This method can also involve installing from a network share, where the OS setup files are stored on a shared drive accessible over the network. Network installations are efficient for managing multiple devices, ensuring consistency, and saving loads of time. Now if you like the idea of network installations, why stop at your local area network? With internet-based boot methods, you can download and install OS installation files from anywhere in the world. This boot method is for scenarios where you need the latest OS version without the hassle of physical media. Just connect to the internet, download the OS, and let the installation wizard guide you through. It's straightforward, but remember, a stable internet connection is key here. Lastly, we have the ability to boot using an internal hard drive. This involves setting up a dedicated partition on the internal drive that holds the OS setup files. It's a neat way to keep everything self-contained within the device. When you need to install or upgrade the OS, you boot from this section of the hard drive, and the process begins. This boot method is particularly useful for devices that frequently need OS reinstalls or upgrades without external dependencies. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.